girls and welcome to Gordon Guitar. We have Lucas Graham here and Mickey Guyton with the song called Home Movies. So a great song with a great message that our past is a part of us. And uh, yeah, it's a good reminder. So anyway, let's start with this great song. We did set our capo here on the fourth fret. And with that, we have a couple chords that are pretty easy. We're gonna look at the chords as they are because we're gonna practice the strumming, an easy strumming pattern to it. But this is mainly a picking pattern song, so we will look at the picking patterns as well. And I can just tell you right now, it's much easier than it looks and uh, yeah, that will uh, be a, a motivation here to continue with this tutorial. So um, yeah, let's start and go for the chords first. We will start with the C. So that is third on A, second on D, open G, first B and open E. The next chord is E minor. So that is open E, second A, second D, open G, open B, and open E. And then we have A minor. That is open A, second D, second G, first B, and open E. We have F. So that's a bar chord. You place a bar here on the first fret across all strings. And then the rest will be third on A, third on D, and second on G. And the final chord will be G. So that is third on E, second on A, open D, open G, third B, and third E. And I can just mention that when we're playing the picking patterns, the G will just look like this. So just third fret on the G string, everything else is open. So yeah, there you have it. The chords C, E minor, A minor, F, and G. All right. So we'll start with the picking because that is uh, the main thing here in the song and some parts you can go either picking or strumming. We'll come to that. But first, the patterns will be exactly the same, just different uh, places where you have your bass note depending on the chord you're playing. So you will see it's very, very uh, similar patterns here for these chords and that's the reason for that is uh, why it's easier than it looks like okay so the only thing is you need to be comfortable with and safe so you can play this in a faster tempo that's the uh, big key here so anyway let's look at the first chord the c so grab the chord as it is you will play the chords as they are every chord except from the last g i'm going to show you okay so the c starts like this So you're playing from the chord and you're playing the 3rd fret A string together with the 1st fret B, like this, then 2nd D, open G, then bass note 3rd A again, then 1st B, 2nd D, and open G. So 3rd A together with 1st B. 2nd D, open G, 3rd A, 1st B, 2nd D, open G. We move on to the next chord, which is the E minor. You're going to hold the chord as is, and you're going to play this pattern. So that will be the same principle here, the bass note, the open E this time, together with open B. Then 2nd D, open G, then bass notes, open E, open B, and 2nd D, and open G. Next chord will be A minor, so grab the chord, and it sounds like this. That is open A together with first B, then second D, second G, then bass notes again, open A, then first B, second D, and second G. And we 
grab the F. Okay, so grab the chord as it is. It sounds like this. So that is first on E in the bass, together with first B, then third D, second G. And bass note again, first E, then first B, third D, and second G. the final chord the G this is where you just hold the third fret on the E string it sounds like this so that is third fret E in the bass together with open B then open D open G then back to bass note third E open B open D and open G So there you have the patterns and it's not exactly like as the play in the song uh, it's a little bit more complicated in the song but this is the best way to go in my opinion to get the fast tempo you need and in the way that you don't need to think that much about where you're what you're playing and the fingers just goes once you learn the patterns it will be pretty much automatically so that is a very close version of it and i would prefer to go that even if i could play the original uh, patterns there uh, i wouldn't go for that patterns because it don't give doesn't give you that much um, but it's that much harder and with this pattern you will just um, it would just go by itself pretty much uh, in, in when you practice thing here so that is the patterns now we're just gonna mention the chords and how many times you're gonna play this pattern so we'll start with the first verse you will play C one so that means then E minor one and A minor two then F two C1 and G1. You repeat that for two rounds, so. And that is your first verse. That takes us to the first pre chorus, but what they both didn't know, that's where we are in the lyrics. You continue with these patterns, the pickings, now F2, then A minor 1, and G1, now F2, and you end with G1 plus 1 down on the bass and a pause after that because that builds up for the chorus, so G1 round of pattern plus 1 down and a pause. That is your pre-chorus. Now starts the chorus, play in our home videos or movies. That's where you are on the lyrics. So you're gonna continue with the pickings. Uh, you could do that or I can show you just how to play with one down as well. Or I don't have to show you, I just tell you now. You can just do one down per chord. But anyway, it goes like C, one round. Then E minor one round. Two rounds. Then A minor one. And now comes a part that goes a little bit faster, so it will be G. The first four no or like three notes, it will be these parts. So just that part for G, that means third on E together with open B and then open D, open G. And then you shift to E minor and play the same um, part there, but now with the E minor. So open E, open B, second D and open G. So it goes faster there. G, E minor. And then you finish with two rounds of F. That chord progression you will play for two rounds. So again, C1, E minor, F2, and then A minor, and then G, part.
part one and E minor part one. And then F2. And then you finish off after the second chord progression round with another line of A minor one, G part one, E minor part one, and F part two. Uh, sorry, F2 rounds. So. have the chorus. Uh, so just to repeat the chorus part is a little bit longer. So you're gonna play C1, E minor 1, F2. Then A minor 1 and G part 1, E minor part 1 and F part 2. That chord progression you play times 2 and then you end with the final line there, the A minor 1, the G part 1, E minor part 1 and F2 rounds. That is how you play the picking part. When it comes to the chords, now is where you're gonna um, start to play chords if you wish. You can just play one down per chord. For F it will be a longer pause cause it was two rounds of the picking, remember? So now you have to just play one down and then a longer pause and then... In the same way you play the pickings. So that was the chorus. Now let's go over to the second verse. And uh, in this second verse, you can start the real strumming here. You can go with the same picking as we learned in the first verse, or we can start the strumming. So we're gonna look at the strumming part now. Uh, it's the same amount of times you're gonna play the strumming rounds as uh, the picking rounds. So nothing changes there, it's just the strumming. And now the strumming will be like this, grab the C, and it sounds down, 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 up. So that is the strumming pattern, so down, 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 up. So if you apply the same chords and amount of rounds you're gonna play for the picking, it will sound like C1. Minor one, A minor two, F two, C one, and G one. Now you use, of course, the full chord G here, and you go that for a second round. C one, E minor one, A minor two, F two, C one, and G one. And we can continue in that. Uh, paste there with the second pre-chorus. It's uh, F2, A minor 1, G1, F2, and G1 plus 1 down. In the same way, picking or the strumming with the same strumming pattern. So we'll continue with the second chorus. It's the same again with the pickings or you can do the strumming pattern. Now it's not just one down, you're gonna play the full strumming, the down, 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 up for the same amount of rounds. So nothing changes there, and then comes a bridge part. In the lyrics, there's nothing I could be without these memories. So that is where we are. Um, we're gonna play F2, and you go for the strumming here, the same pattern. So F2, G2, then F1, A minor one, and G1 plus one down. And that is the bridge parts. So it was F2, G2, F1, A minor 1, G1 plus 1 down. And then you finish off with the third chorus played in the same way as the second chorus. That means you uh, go for the strumming and you play in the same way as the second chorus plus you're gonna add one down on this final line there, the A minor, G, E minor, and F. And that is how Graham's song, Home Movies, ends. Yeah, Home Movies. So, a lot of notes here, picking, challenge, practice the patterns, that's where the key lies, and once you have the patterns, it pretty much go by itself, like I mentioned. So good luck with this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And feel free to leave a comment for wishes here on Gordon Guitar. Or just to thumb up if you like this tutorial. So till next time, guys. Play tuned.